Dan, attorneys say that the school district either knew or should have known that a gun was being used in the classroom, and now they're seeking damages. Last March, former Seaside High School teacher Dennis Alexander discharged his gun during a classroom demonstration. The bullet hit the ceiling and shrapnel rained down, hitting a 17-year-old in the neck. And then I look at my shirt like that, and there's a, like blood on my shirt, and then I like wipe my neck kind of, and a bullet fragment comes off my neck. Furman Gonzalez's wounds were minor, but he did go to the hospital. And now, almost a year later, his family is filing suit against the district. And we did so in order to get answers about what led up to this incident and what kind of changes in the future are going to come as a result of this incident. His legal team has unearthed photographs and videos of students handling the gun prior to the incident that were posted to social media. We have indications that he was using his service weapon in the classroom, bringing it to the classroom and allowing students to handle it on multiple occasions. Uh, over the course of years. So this wasn't a one-time lapse in judgment. Alexander, a reserve police officer with the city of San City, was cleared of criminal charges back in June, but attorneys say this doesn't make him or the other involved parties innocent of negligence. I don't think Dennis Alexander is a criminal. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's the villain here. I think he had some lapses of judgment, but let's keep in mind this is a long-term public servant, and to his credit, he um, came right out after the incident and acknowledged um, a degree of responsibility for what happened. But that only serves to highlight what we haven't seen from MPUSD administration and the city of San City about their role in the lead up to this and their, uh, what they knew about what happened and why. The gun used was the service weapon issued by the San City Police Department, but the city of San City said today he was in no way authorized to use that gun during classroom demonstrations. I spoke with a representative from Monterey Peninsula Unified School District. They declined to comment because of the pending litigation. Dan. Thank you, Caitlin. A dollar amount has not been set for damages. Attorneys expect there to be a financial component to the case.